you've got to show your bottle in politics, make decisions that people don't like. The Chancellor was in Somerset touring a cider factory, but ITV News wanted to ask him about VAT. No, not these VATs. Cider is stored in the value-added tax, which George Osborne controls and angers the tourism industry. People like Jerry Cottle, who runs the Wookiee Hole attraction, he has a board outside telling customers how much cheaper their tickets would be if it wasn't for the 20% tax. All my life, ever since it was introduced, VAT has been the bugbear of whether it's live entertainment, tourism or leisure, whatever. And I think it's totally unfair. The rest of Europe, and I mean literally our neighbours, Ireland, France, Germany, have a reduced rate of VAT for culture, tourism, hotels, etc. And it just stops us employing people. It stops us expanding. The UK VAT rate is lower than Denmark's 25%, but compare it with other similar-sized economies. France's is 10%, so too is Spain's, and Germany's only 7%. All of these countries have lower rates of VAT for tourism. What would you say to the many thousands of uh, people who own tourism companies here who've been saying for many years now, please do something with VAT? Well, I've made choices about where I think we can best help. And by cutting the jobs tax, making it easier to employ people, by cutting cider duty, and by spending money on things like the A303 and the rail links into the southwest, I think you'll do more for tourism. There are lots of things going on here that are bringing tourists in, and you can't do those things if you don't have a strong and growing economy and a plan for the southwest. Across Exmoor, at the zoo, they were unimpressed with the Chancellor's words. Over 40% of our gross income it's given out as wages, and the government requires us to provide a minimum wage. They'd like us to give a living wage. We can do that. You help us, we'll do it. If we get it wrong, you'll still get your money back. You'll get it back as income tax. Dropping VAT rates for tourism is controversial. Other sectors might argue, why not them too? And there is a simple truth ahead of summer season and the election. None of the major parties have committed to a cut. It won't happen soon. Roberts Murphy, ITV News, Somerset.